Hi, it's Pyam here from Leisure Advice. Hope you're well. Um, I, rec I recorded a video a couple of days ago about um, high loan to value mortgages, um, how people can get mortgages when they've got, I don't know, 5%, 10% deposit and what the situation is like right now. Um, but it got me thinking, is that the right thing? We know that there's going to be a uh, crash. Um, we know there's going to be a, you know, property prices will come down. And you know, from all the news out there, that you know we're going to go through difficult times. So, is it sensible for me as a broker, or the lenders, or the actual government to encourage um, purchasing of properties right now, on for people that don't have a great deal of deposit, knowing that there's going to be a down cycle and potentially um, issues with property prices? Um, obviously, buying the property is for long term. However, it just got me thinking and I thought, well, let me put it out there and let's see what everybody thinks about it. Um, so let me know uh, in the comments, obviously watch the video, let me know what you think about the video, but also let me know what your views are around high loan to value mortgages, um, whether people should have access to them, um, whether we should let the market sort of control it itself or whether um, there should be some more controls put in so people are better protected. Um, so yeah, let me, let me know, watch the videos and I hope you're all well. Thank you. Hi, it's Pyam here from Niche Advice. Hope you're well. Right, this bit's about high loan to value lending. Okay, so if you've got 5% deposit or 10% deposit in this market, looking and you're a first time buyer, for example, looking to buy, you're going to struggle. Okay, we've seen huge changes within the high loan to value lending uh, market right now. Um, obviously, it started with off the back of the valuation. So what happened was when coronavirus kicked in, the, the government shut down, um, valuers were not going, the surveyors were not going around and surveying the property. The, the properties. So what would happen is uh, the lenders then said, OK, well, that's too much risk. If we, do, if we don't know if the surveyors are not going around there to look at the property. We could only use our own desktop valuation computer systems. OK, the problem is. There's risk there. They're not correct all the time. OK, so what happened was some of the major lenders reduced their loan to values. OK, and, and loan to value started being around about 75 percent loan to value, which means you had to have 25 percent deposit. And a lot of property types stopped being valued correctly or stopped being valued in post. So if you had a new build, they wouldn't value it. They would say we can't do a desktop valuation. We need a surveyor to go around. You'll have to wait until the surveyors come back in. HRA mortgages, commercial mortgages on top of shops, next to shops, things like that. OK, so um, and thankfully the market's back. The surveyors are back. But we haven't seen that high loan to value lending back. Now, we did see some brave souls, some brave lenders. Accord Mortgages came out uh, and Virgin, funny enough, came out with 90 percent deals. I think HSBC is still out there. Um, you've seen a few of them come out but we shortly saw as soon as they came out after about a week they've pulled their products why because the big boys are not coming out with it okay the likes of um halifax the the likes of santander those guys uh, the likes of nat west who we do a lot of business with as well they haven't come out with their 90 percent ranges i think nat west is lending around 80 percent um, Halifax is doing 85% loan to value. So what you've got is less and less lenders if you've got small deposits. Okay. Now, do I think it's going to come back? I think it will do. I think there's two, there's two school of thoughts, and I'm speaking to brokers and experts, some of the experts out there. There's two school of thoughts why um, this is not happening. One, there's still huge backlogs, okay, with the lenders. So why would they want to get more business in? than these valuations where they can't cope with the backlog that they've got. So it could just be timing. It could just be, you know, give it a month or so and we will start in reintroducing some of our high loan to value cases, uh, products. It could be that they believe the market's gonna go down as many people do, as I actually do. Um, and they're thinking, well, if we're lending at 90, 95%, all it takes is a, you know, 10% fall and we'll be lending to a negative equity client. So they're holding things back. I think it's probably a mixture of both. So they've got system issues, obviously staffing issues and all sorts of problems logistically lenders, but also that's at the back of their mind. They're thinking mm, property prices are going to come down. 
Um, do I really want to be lending with 5% deposit, 10% deposit? That could be wiped out, okay? And I think that's what you need to be thinking about as well. If you're looking to get, I mean, I've, I've had probably five inquiries yesterday the night for 90% loan to value lending. And I'm had to go around to them. And it's not just 90% because there's 90% loan to value lending. So they've got low deposit. Maybe the affordability is not as great. Maybe they've got other issues. You know, I had one or two with, with that are foreign nationals. They've got a little bit more different. They've got self-employment. So it's not just, oh, I just want to get 90%. I just want to get 90% loan to value mortgage. Um, there are different circumstances within that. Um, my own opinion is I would hold off. I would hold off and save that. 15% deposit at least to make it work. 15, 20% deposit. Because I do think there's gonna be some volatility in the next year or two. And the worst place you wanna be sitting in is a negative equity property that you can't get out of that deal. You can't refinance, you can't do anything because it's not worth what you paid for it, okay? So um, just be mindful, there is a reason. You've gotta look at um, why people do it. There's a reason why lenders are not doing it. Okay, just because you want to buy that property and it's a, it's a great property and I think I'm going to do very, very well and all of that. There's a reason why these lenders have decided they don't want to lend at 90% loan to value. And the ones that are, what you did is probably you're going to see some repricing happening. So let's say they were lending at, I don't know, two and a half percent interest rate. I think the ones that will come in will price for risk. So they may come and do it at three and a half percent interest rate. Okay. Um, so um, there is there is going to be there is going to be issue. I mean, speaking to some of the lenders out there, um, I don't believe I don't from the gist that I get, some of them are quite happy to lend that eighty to eighty five percent loan to value. They're not rushing to get back into that market. Um, the buy to let sector is a little bit different. I think it's sitting at seventy five percent loan to value. There are a few eighty percent loan to value deals. I personally don't like 80% anyway. I think it's too much risk and the products are not very good. Rental calculation is not very good. So um, just watch out. You know, I think um, uh, there will be lenders coming in, in. What you will probably find is some lenders have got some appetite, so they might need to lend. So they'll come out with a 90%, maybe for only for a couple of weeks. They'll fill their boots in and then they'll, they'll withdraw. So um, it's important you speak to a broker's you speak to brokers that have got their finger on the pulse, that they know what they're doing. Someone like me, for example. Um, but no, uh, there are lots of uh, independent brokers out there. Um, you, it's, it's vital you try to do this with getting some expert advice um, because things are changing on a daily basis. Okay, Just because you've got an agreement principle, principle from one lender doesn't mean until that, that mortgage has been, has been submitted, Sometimes, if it's been submitted, usually they'll they'll honour it. But sometimes, you know, you're going to have a mortgage offer uh, to get that rate or get that product. Okay, so uh, uh, be mindful. A lot of people uh, are approaching and saying, "Oh, I got an agreement in principle, but they've changed their thing." Well, that's always been the case. Agreement in principle is just agreement in principle. Until you find the property, you can submit the application, and then normally that's when you lock in a case. So there's going to be a lot of uh, problems. Um, I'm seeing a lot of transactions actually at the moment where they're falling, they're falling through right at the last minute. So the client had an offer, they got accepted, the chain breaks somewhere down the middle, either somebody gets furloughed or someone loses their job and that breaks a number of the chains out there and that'll have massive effects. Um, also, um, big issues around uh, change of circumstances with your job, change of hours, change of contract. Um, lenders are asking for latest month's pay slips, for example, um, if you've had your mortgage offer a few months ago. So there's been a lot of changes and there's gonna be more and more changes to come. Hope you found this useful. Please like, share, and, and obviously let me know what experiences you've had, if you've had some bad experiences out there, or what you think about my, my theory of high loan to value lending I, and, and, and anything you can add. It will be useful to find out what others are thinking around the market, what you think the market's going to do. Do you think it's a good idea to get a 90% mortgage? Um, and yeah, uh, let me know what you think. Thank you so much.